Bonjour everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're doing some progress again uh, here. We're starting to do the, the reinforcement for the front wing mounting section. This is the starting point of it. Uh, actually it's uh, bent metal and then you progress it with cutting and using uh, classic, classic tools and skills like I've showed you in a previous video. Uh, we can, I think we can even uh, film this one as well if you're interested. And also the front chassis rail is starting to get shaped. As you can see, uh, I've put uh, some uh, rust converter inside and then primer, zinc spray and then color. So it looks nice and red inside as well, but on the mounting points where the welding will go, it's only zinc spray for now because that is heat resistant and it's not going to be damaged with welding. We're getting some good results here from the rust converter as well. As you can see, also we have some parts uh, outside now sunbathing because it's going to dry better in the sun. Here they are. So the main point was just to protect them inside where you don't have a good access later when you weld stuff on and stuff. So uh, the outside we can uh, paint and protect any times but uh, it's the inside that has to be uh, done right now for the mounting and for assembly. Again on all uh, welding areas we have applied uh, zinc spray so it's heat resisting and you can weld it and uh, where there will be no welding there is primer color and uh, the red color so it's going to be uh, just like the original. Uh, now we're going to try to make as much of the day as possible. So this is the primer I have used, uh, it's a uh, one component primer so you don't need a hardener, uh, this is why I use this one. Uh, for the rest of the car most likely I will use epoxy primer uh, because it's, it says it's better, but for you know stuff like this uh, I choose this one because you don't have to mix mix it every time when you apply it and it's fast and easy and these areas are not exposed to uh, you know rock chips or stuff like that uh, so it's not going to be uh, too demanding for it so it's going to hold up pretty nicely uh, we're going to apply a lot of wax after the car is finished but this is far into the future so yeah this is it uh, for the zinc spray I have used this one it looks pretty okay and uh, for the decreasing surface the cheapest uh, nitro thinner I could find. Uh, uh, entry silicone cleaner is better but the store didn't have it so and I didn't waste the whole day running through stores uh, for a cleaner for to the surface only. This is pretty good as well. So yeah this is it uh, and for the rust converter I uh, managed to get this one. Uh, I didn't use it before. Uh, it's a polymeric rust converter. It's an industrial used one uh, and I'm going to use it on uh, hidden areas and for uh, reinforcing and stuff like that because it's a little bit more aggressive for the outer shell for the body of the car. Uh, I bought a Wurt rust, rust converter which is, they say, some people say it's better for cars and for uh, sheet metal but I don't know we'll see maybe we can do a small test uh, like we did with this one and I'll keep you guys posted with the results so let's keep on working
so everyone the first patch is done this is this one above the chassis rail uh, this is the extension of uh, the floor of the car which was rusty but it was not present on uh, the replacement sheet metal I got looking good okay guys so this is it uh, another day in the workshop we've managed to get something done uh, we have these thingies the wing mounting portion of the car uh, we've done some other stuff we have painted the chassis rails uh, inside so they could be mounted up and stuff like that so yeah it's been productive the work will, will continue and see you next time bye auf Wiedersehen